I'd been playing it with the idea for a long time with an underwater garden. What inspired me, and this was also as a kid, was the Beatles song, The Octopus's Garden. What is it like to be under the sea in an octopus's garden? That's a kind of a kid's dream, just this image, and you follow up on it. And then it's amazing then when things like this open up and you get the opportunity to do something like that and to expose this idea to other people. We thought we could take a cross-section of a marine landscape, say a rock pool, the sea, and highlight that as something so incredibly valuable, clean and undisturbed, and especially void of any humans. Hence the name of the garden, Aquamarine. What I really enjoy is when children are just glued to something like this, like a magnet. If when they see something they, they are totally attracted to, that's an image which is stuck in their brain and it can change the way they actually develop over the years. So if they see the sea as something so special, I hope that out of 120,000 people that are going to see that, that we're going to have a lot of little marine biologists coming out saying, all we want to do is protect the sea. The other thing is that everybody will think twice about throwing anything into the sea. So that's what I'd like people to see and like to understand. Ireland is just so unique. I mean, we've got such an endless coastline and us as an island nation, we have to be more conscious of what's happening. <laughs>